All right, in this video we're going to look at the uh, compound interest uh, equation and we're going to solve for the interest rate. And the first thing we're going to do is we're just going to isolate the base. So we're going to divide both sides by uh, P. So when we do that we'll have A over P is equal to 1 plus R over N to the nth power. And we'll know what nt is, it could be like 2. So if it was 2, we would take the square root of both sides. If it was cubed, we'd take the cube root of both sides. Well, we don't know what it is, but we'll take the nth root of both sides. So the nth root, n, nth root of both sides. So the nth root of a over p. And uh, the root and the exponent will undo each other, and we'll have 1 plus r over n. We're going to solve for r, so we're going to subtract 1, and then we're going to multiply by n to clear the fractions. Okay? So there's the subtract 1, there's the multiply by n, and then we just have the nth root of a over p there. And that's going to be uh, equal to our interest rate. Okay? So the interest rate is n, and then uh, a over p raised to the 1 over nth power with parentheses like that, minus 1. So that's how I would do it in a, uh, a calculator that does parentheses. So let's go ahead and do an example. Um, so let's say we want to know what interest rate compounded monthly will grow to 2,000, grow from 2,000 to uh, 4,000 in four years. So this is a compound interest problem, so A is equal to P, 1 plus r over n raised to the nt power. And we're just going to list what we know. So the amount is what we want in, in uh, four years. Principal is going to be what we start with. Interest rate is what we're trying to find. Um, and n is the number of compounds per year. T is time. So they tell us it's going to be four years. Compounded monthly means once a month, or, and uh, there's 12 months, so that'll be 12. Interest rate is we don't know. Principal is we're starting out with 2,000, and amount is 4,000. Okay, so we're going to plug that in. So yeah, 4,000 is equal to 2,000. 1 plus r over 12 raised to the 12 times 4. Uh, first thing we're going to do is we're going to isolate the base. So we're going to divide both sides by 2,000. So we have 2 is equal to 1 plus r over 12 raised to the 48th power. So to undo the 48th power is to take the 48th root of both sides. We're going to take the 48th root of both sides. So we have the 48th root of 2 is equal to 1 plus r over 12. Now, what I did generically is I, I subtracted 1 first and then multiplied by the n. It doesn't matter. Uh, what I ended up doing here is I multiplied both sides by 12 to clear the fraction first. So I'm going to multiply both sides by 12 to clear that fraction. And we have 12 48th roots of 2. And then 1 times 12 is 12. And then 12 times the r over 12. The 12s will cancel and you're left with just r. Okay. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to subtract uh, 12 from both sides. So we'll have 12, 48th root of 2 minus 12. And uh, if I want to put that in my calculator, it's going to be 12 times 2 raised to the 1 over 48 power uh, minus 12. And uh, we'll put that in the calculator. And that's going to be approximately 17.45%. So... Uh, pretty pretty good interest rate there, okay? Um, these ones are fairly uncommon, but uh, we do have, we might see one in class and maybe on the homework as well. 